In this video, we're going to have a look at all the food and snacks available at Avengers Campus here in Disneyland Paris, from the savory snacks to the sweet snacks to hot dogs, Reuben sandwiches, noodles, pastas, pizzas, so much to eat and enjoy. So come along with me. Let's have a good time eating. So I've got the chocolate cheesecake pop here with me. This was five euros from one of the food trucks towards the end of Avengers Campus, opposite the Super Diner actually. They also sell some hot dogs there, but I decided to go for the cheesecake for now. Here's a closer look at it. It's basically like a chocolate covered cheesecake with some almonds around it as well. And it's like a little pop, like a lollipop, so you can hold it like this. It's very fun. I feel like kids would enjoy it, just kind of holding onto it as they walk around Avengers Campus. But yeah, let's give it a taste test. That's what the inside looks like. Pretty good to be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of cheesecakes personally, but this is good. It's not just good, it's also fun having it like this. Yeah, it's good. So from the hot dog food truck here at Avengers Campus, I unsurprisingly got myself a hot dog, as you can see over here, and I really like the packaging actually. It says for heroes on the go, so obviously to go type of food, which is cute. Hot dogs, I mean, this land Paris has a lot of hot dogs as it is, so I'm not sure if it's something that was needed in this land. I would have preferred if, if they did something like the shawarmas that they do in California. And it's interesting because on the actual truck they do have some stickers kind of as an ode to the shawarma place, but unfortunately they don't actually sell them. Maybe they'll bring them over eventually, but of the three hot dogs that they do offer here, I decided to go for the hot dog Langkoyap, so the incredible hot dog I believe it's called. They have three versions, one of them is vegetarian and I think also vegan, but the one I went to has some onions on it, some cheese, cheddar cheese and I believe that's it, obviously mustard and ketchup. I don't like ketchup so I asked it to be without ketchup and they were like it's absolutely fine so I've only got um, yeah mustard on it. No ketchup, I'm not a ketchup fan whatsoever but yeah it's uh, quite a good size as well. This was 11 euros so looking forward to giving it a go. I mean the hot dog's good. It's all right, it's nothing special. It's a beef hot dog, similar to the ones at Casey's Corner in Disneyland Park. The bread, I think, is quite different, though, to the ones they sell at Casey's, but let me take another bite. I feel like it's a little bit too salty, and I do know why now. I forgot to tell you, there's one more thing on this hot dog that I went for, and it's some tiny pieces of bacon. I should have told them not to put the bacon as well, to be honest, because I'm not the biggest bacon fan, but you can kind of see them on the top. It's kind of mixed with the onions, so the bacon does make it quite salty. Um, for me, it's a bit too salty. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of bacon, but it's still a nice hot dog, to be fair. Okay, so from the web cart, which is the cart literally located on the opposite side of the training center at Avengers Campus, I got myself one of the chow mein noodles. They've got three options. One of them is with shrimps or crevettes, as the French call them. The other one has chicken in it. And the third one is a vegetarian slash vegan option and has tofu. This is 11 euros and this is how it's presented. Again, I love the packaging with the web logo on it as well. And yeah, it's uh, quite full as well. This is probably one of the newest things. And in fact, this is the first time I would say in a long long time that Disneyland Paris is serving um, Asian food or Asian like food which is what this park needs in my opinion I hope they keep expanding this kind of cuisine as a quick service or even as a table service throughout the parks but they did also give me one of these things I'm guessing it might just be some chopsticks let's just open them up yeah this feels like a very authentic experience now I'm not the best at eating with chopsticks but I'm gonna try my best I'm really looking forward to this there's a little shrimp here Yeah, the shrimp is nice, the noodles as well. Oh my god, I've just seen, oh this is brilliant, look at this. Hopefully I won't drop it, but you can see the W sign here on whatever this is. Is it like a courgette of some sort? I'm not sure, but it's basically got the W logo for web. That's quite fun. I like themed things. And the shrimps, I mean, like I said, this is the first time in a long time, or perhaps even ever, that Disneyland Paris is selling shrimps as a quick service. And there's quite a lot of them in there as well, so if you like shrimps, this is not a bad option at all. There is some mushrooms in there as well. So, 
yeah, this is good. I'm happy with this. I think I'm just happy that we have something a bit different, finally, in Disneyland Paris. And sometimes, you know, sometimes you just get bored of hot dogs and burgers, right? And you just want something at least a little bit different. Don't get me wrong, this isn't like mind-blowingly different, but still compared to the type of food Disneyland Paris normally offers, I'm glad that Avengers Campus has this now. Again, that's quite a big portion as well. I already feel kind of full, and I've still got at least maybe three more shrimps in there. So they're quite generous with the amount of shrimps they give you. <laughs> oh my God, I just found a little bee as well for web. I love it. It's just this, this, the fact that they've kind of made it themed with the little alphabet letters in there for web has made me love this dish or this quick service option more. I'd probably give this an eight out of 10, you know? It's really nice. Don't get me wrong though, it's only an eight out of 10 in terms of Disneyland Paris quick service options. I think I'm just excited that we've got something new in terms of like the cuisine they offer as well. But honestly, if you compare this to, for instance, Tatuli Canteen in Animal Kingdom in Walt Disney World, which in my opinion is the best Disney quick service ever, Ever, this is nothing. Right, so from the web stand again, opposite the training center, I got myself the dessert that they offer in there, which are these coconut balls. Um, they heat them up as well, so they're warm. I didn't expect them to be. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of coconut, and this, of course, it being called coconut balls, is very much coconut tea, just from the smell of it. It smells of coconut, very, very much so. But I like trying new, unique things, and again, this is a unique dessert that these vampires have added to Avengers Campus, so I'm looking forward to giving this a go. This was five euros by the way and you get three of the balls before I try these though I do want to give a big shout out to one of my lovely viewers Oscar and his nan Oscar came up to me just now and said that his nan watches the videos and so if you Oscar's nan watching the videos big shout out to you it's lovely to meet you Oscar and your mom as well thank you so much for saying hi anyway let's get to these cocoa balls now they didn't give me any cutlery so I'm presuming I just use my fingers my hands for them I have kind of sanitized my hands so hey uh, you're right Okay, there's something in them and I think it's just egg yolk is, is what I'm thinking. That's what it said on there. Coconut and egg yolk. And sorry if I'm saying the word yolk wrong. I feel like I am. Don't forget English is not my first language. But um, yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting flavor for sure. Do you know what? This is actually really nice. Like really nice. And I am so surprised. I couldn't even tell you what this tastes of. But the one thing it doesn't really taste of is weirdly coconut. I'm not really getting the coconut flavor, the coconut taste much at all, which I'm happy about. It's just very, very eggy, but it's a nice dessert. I don't think I've ever tried anything like this before, and I am so surprised at how much I'm enjoying them. I'm probably going to eat all three of them as well. I was going to save one for later, but these are delicious. So from Super Diner, I got their famous Reuben sandwich, which is a sandwich that I've never tried before. It comes in a little kind of foil plastic thing with the actual logo of Super Diner as well. Um, the sandwich looks quite big to be fair. This was 11 euros. They also do a vegan version of the same sandwich. And basically, if you don't know what a Reuben sandwich is, it's got pastrami, sauerkraut, melted cheddar cheese, diced pickles, and mustard sauce in it. it smells pretty good. I'm not the biggest fan of pickles, but I mean, um, I love trying new things and a Reuben sandwich is something that actually my dad tried years and years ago in America. My dad lived in America and studied there actually and he's always said good things about it. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be as good as ones you can get from America, but we'll give it a go. Mm. I mean, you really have to love pastrami to enjoy this. I'm just going to show you the bread inside. You can see all the pickles, the diced pickles um, and there's a lot of mustard taste as well. I, like I said, I don't like pickles much. Mustard I enjoy, but if you don't like mustard, this might not be for you. There's quite a lot of meat in there too though. And then of course, you've got the sauerkraut on the other side. Now, again, 11 euros, I think might be a little bit too much for this, but it's nice. I mean, it's something different. Again, something different for Disneyland Paris, which I always think is good. Also, this angle's not the best. Apologies for that. I'm not the biggest fan of the bread, personally. I feel like the bread is quite thin compared to the bread that they show you. So I'm going to show you a quick picture right now so you can see exactly how they advertise them as and what the actual sandwich looks like that you get when you come in there. I feel like they could have used maybe a better bread. The bread just looks to be... I mean, it's not really even that toasted, to be honest. So not a fan of the bread, particularly. Uh, the rest of it is also just... For me, this is not the place to go. Like, I personally would not come here again to get this, but I'm glad I've tried it. Do you know what? The more and more I actually eat of the sandwich, I'm enjoying the flavor more. Even the diced pickles, I'm eating them and enjoying them. It's a good sandwich, not gonna lie. I think 
again, the only thing for me is the bread. I probably would have enjoyed it more if it was just add more to it. The bread in itself is not great, but you, you get a lot of meat to be fair. So I don't know. It's not the worst thing I've tried at Avengers Campus, but I wouldn't say it's the best either. Also, one thing I've just noticed is that they actually do a vegan option for kids at the Super Diner in Avengers Campus, which if I'm not mistaken, might be the first time we've actually seen this in Disneyland Paris. So like an actual vegan meal for children, which is definitely a step forward for Disneyland Paris. This is what the Choco Blast looks like. It actually is quite big. So for five euros, size-wise, I mean, look at this. This is big, it's thick. Uh, apparently it's got some peanut butter in it, some chocolate and some caramel. To be fair, this looks like a pretty nice and decent dessert. So really hope it tastes nice as well, because really so far I've not found anything that I've, oh, well, actually I'll take that back. I really enjoy the Choco Balls at the stand that sells the noodles. But apart from that, uh, I don't really like any of the other sweets or desserts type stuff that they sell here at Avengers Campus. So hopefully this will change my mind. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're the best. Oh wow, I didn't realize it was going to be quite hard. Okay, let's take a bite of this choker blast. Shout out to the cast member Damien as well who helped me film that shot that you just saw. It was really hard to do it with one hand whilst holding the camera. But this is what it looks like. I do like peanut butter flavored things. I love chocolate. Caramel is all right, not my favorite. Okay, let me just eat it before everything falls. Hmm. Wow, that's good. No, that is good. Yeah, I wish it didn't have the caramel, personally, and that's just a me thing, I don't really love caramel. But uh, the peanut butter flavour is there, the chocolate is really nice, it's not too sweet either, so if you don't like very, very sweet desserts, then this might be something for you to try, but yeah, this is good, I am um, pleasantly surprised with this, I would probably get this again. Okay, so I'm not sure what to start with, but I think I just want to go with the pizza because it's the one that, believe it or not, I'm the most excited about. The fact that it's kind of you know, made fresh over there. It smells really, really good. Oh, this looks really good actually. So we're going to give this a taste test. This is delicious. This is really, really good. The cheese is incredible. Oh my God, I've got cheese all over me. And the actual pizza base as well. It's quite thick to be honest. Not everyone's going to enjoy thicker pizza, but I quite like it. It's so good. Honestly, look at me. I'm, I'm, I just want to keep eating. Let's have a bite with the olive as well. This is very, very good. Initially, I was a bit nervous that because it's like another place in Disneyland Paris that again sells pizza and pasta, and we already have quite a lot of places in Disneyland Paris that sell pizza and pasta, I was a little bit sad and worried that it wouldn't be that good. But this is definitely one of the best pizzas that you can find in Disneyland Paris. So despite it being kind of similar food to what we've had before in the park, this is an absolute mess. I feel like this is quality pizza, as in in terms of quick service pizza, this is definitely good pizza. The pizza was 14 euros, by the way. So 14 euros for the big slice of pizza that we just had. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but some people might think that 14 euros is a bit much. And I, I get that, but it was a large slice. You saw how big it was. I've only got a little bit of it left right now. And it's very filling, I can tell you. I'm already quite full. Next, it's time for the cheesy spaghetti over here. Looks pretty good. It just looks like mac and cheese, to be honest, with some stuff on it. What are these little bean things? I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing if this matches the pizza because the pizza was genuinely phenomenal. But um, yeah, we've got our spaghetti bowl over here. Stark Factory says as well, very nicely themed and we've got the pasta in there. Again, this is quite a hefty bowl. This one was 13 euros just for this. So we will see how this goes. All right, let's give this a go. It's just macaroni and cheese, isn't it? I don't think it's too special, to be honest. I mean, I had a bit of the seeds with my first bite and I get why they've put the seeds on top of the mac and cheese 
if you like because it gives it a bit of a crunch and that makes it more of an enjoyable experience but the actual pasta as you can see is more or less just mac and cheese isn't it which don't get me wrong I love a good mac and cheese there's a bit of seed attached to it yeah I don't mind mac and cheese it's, I do enjoy it but I don't think it's that special let me take another bite it's very basic I have to be honest this is a very very basic dish I don't think it's worth 13 euros at all personally yeah I'm gonna try as much of it as I can but it's definitely not something that I see myself getting again I'm afraid I'm at Stark Factory again, the main quick service location here at Avengers Campus in Disneyland Paris and I decided to get this little dessert thing, apparently it's called uh, Thunder Cake, Thunder Dessert or something like that and it's meant to be basically caramel, caramel and milk chocolate by what the description said anyway so this was 5 euros which might be a little bit too pricey considering the size of this and I mean it's not too tall either uh, hopefully it will be good I'm always open to trying new things we'll give it a go now the inside looks quite interesting actually you can see the chocolate coming out and a little bit of caramel sauce as well I'm not the biggest fan of caramel I do of course like chocolate though so let's give it a try it's very much moussey it very much is caramelly and chocolatey I mean if you like caramel you'd like it but I don't actually think it tastes too much of anything combined I know that's very weird but obviously you can see there's chocolate in it and you saw a bit of caramel as well and I think mainly yeah it doesn't taste of enough for me to actually enjoy this dessert it reminds me a little bit of the dessert at Casey's Corner in Disneyland Paris on Main Street I've got a review of that as well if you want to check that out I'll leave the link down below but I remember I took a bite of that baseball at Casey's Corner the dessert and apparently that was meant to be like a caramel dessert as well and it just didn't taste of much to me I don't know what it is for me caramel just doesn't have a strong taste and I like my desserts to actually taste of something so yeah I mean you can see the caramel and the chocolate drizzling out of this five euro dessert the thunder cake as they call it but honestly I feel like there are definitely better desserts both in Avengers Campus probably and also outside of Avengers Campus as well just in Walt Disney Studios Park don't get this honestly I mean it's definitely not bad it's just very much not good either it's completely average it's kind of on the straight line of average if you've got good up there and bad on the bottom this is very much average hello <laughs> Oh my god, their store as well. Oh wow, what a great way to end this video. But that is it for this video. We tried basically something from every single stand or quick service option here at Avengers Campus. And of course, if you want to check out my Pim Kitchen video, which actually is just over there, I do have a full review of it, which I'll link down below. But in terms of the snacks and food here, it's not bad. I don't think there was anything in particular that really stood out as being phenomenal. Like there's nothing at Avengers Campus in terms of quick service and snacks that makes me feel like, oh, I need to come to Avengers Campus to get this thing to eat. But if I were to pick some favorites, I would say, to be honest, Stark Factory, the pizza that I had, the four cheese pizza, the price might be quite expensive for what it is, but it was a big slice. And so honestly, you could actually share that. Or if you just were to eat it on your own, it would really fill you up and it tasted really nice it was nice and fresh they literally cook it there and then so i really enjoyed the pizza which is just bizarre because i'm not normally the biggest fan of pizza anyway and then i really like those coconut balls like the desserts that you could get from the stand that has the noodles i thought they were nice and it's something that i can see myself getting again the noodles were great and not great novelty factor very very fun with the alphabets as well the taste was was good but i wanted a bit more flavor from them and so if they improve that those could be really really fun options as well i was disappointed in the hot dog the hot dog just wasn't all that and if i want to get a hot dog i'll just go to casey's corner in the other park um and what was the other one oh the, the reuben sandwich was was okay as well probably my least favorite thing actually but let me know in the comments down below if you've tried anything at avengers campus which food item was your favorite do you like any particular snacks here and yeah make sure to check out my pim kitchen video uh, but that is it oh, there's a spider web right here as well i've got loads more videos on avengers campus on disneyland paris on my channel so make sure you subscribe follow me on instagram as well if you wish to thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye